we really better off than we were four years ago? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, people people like to forget how bad things were four years ago. So if you think about it, uh, I remember January 09. Uh, we were losing six to 800,000 jobs a month. The economy hadn't stabilized. We hadn't bottomed out. We were in free fall. Uh, one of the questions I'd, I'd ask, and, uh, you know, there's a, there's a word you never hear any Republican mention, Bush. Ask any Republican, uh, what do you think would have happened if George Bush had stayed in uh, for another year? Would you have been happy with that? You, you look back to what Barack Obama was handed, it was an economy headed down, and the first thing he did was stabilize it and get it going yes. in the right direction again. So the answer is, in just absolute factual terms, we're much better off than we were four years ago. But Austin, why aren't we doing better? Why are we looking at such anemic growth right now? You go back historically to any other recession on record, and you see a much bigger improvement no, in GDP. We don't have it. Why? True. I mean, uh, you go back to the 1930s, you didn't see that. And this is the worst recession. 1930s, we got some tremendous improvement. <laughs> After, after the Depression. Well, 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 yes, after we had World War II. You know, it, it took almost a decade to get out of that. And look, we've done much better than that. Is that where we are? Is this uh, a lost decade? Uh, I, I think if you look at, I don't, it won't be for us. In fact, we're doing better than any other developed country at this point. I just came back from Europe, and they're headed back into recession. I mean, in fact, one of the reasons that I'm not enthusiastic about uh, particularly Paul Ryan's policies is his policies sound a whole lot like what the Germans are trying to impose on the rest of Europe. They got themselves austerity. in austerity, and the problem is you cannot well, wait a second, Austin, save your up. way out of a recession. Let's it won't work. Up. Because you look at Europe and all the money that they were spending, all the money that they've thrown at social programs, all the money that they've tried to throw at the economy, and that's what got them in trouble in the first place. That's actually not exactly right. It varies across the board. Some of the countries that actually had the best debt management, like Ireland, were the ones that got in the most trouble. They got in because they let the real estate market uh, go wild and, and didn't uh, regulate their banks and the investment in the real estate market. So, you know, every, every country is different, but, but my broad point is that the winds that we're, the headwinds that we're facing, I mean, the U.S. economy has actually made some real strides. As you know, I'm a big fan of what the president did on the auto restructuring plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a, in a very short period of time, uh, he stopped the panic, he restructured the two, two of the three biggest industrial companies in the United States, he fired management that wasn't doing the job. And, and that's one of the things that Wall Street wasn't doing. And now auto sales are up 50% since that time. We've got these global headwinds coming from places like Europe, uh, from China slowing down, that make it more difficult. But I think if you really look at what the president's done, a lot of it has succeeded. What year did you start in business? What year did I start in business? Well, it depends on whether you want to talk about uh, business, business, or when Carmax. I started. When did you, uh, well, when I, did you decide uh, that? It CarMax, we, that. we started in 1991. I was going to say I started in business when I was nine years old with literally a, a lemonade stand. I mean, it Good sounds trite, but Good it's true. Good for you. So 1991, you started the business. Would you would you be able to start it today? Sure. And be as I mean, successful? absolutely. I mean, the, 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 the palaver that somehow the United States is so difficult to do business in. I travel around the world. I've lived in Latin America. I've lived in Asia. I've lived in Europe. There is no better country in the world to do business in than the U.S., and, and you could absolutely start CarMax today. Uh, very similar conditions, better in some ways.